In another story that was already shocking enough, we learned today that an Illinois cop who staged his suicide to look like a murder was deeply troubled for decades. Dean Reynolds has that. Around Fox Lake, many of the ribbons that went up when Officer Joe Glinowitz died are still blowing in the wind this week, though many here now believe it was an unwarranted tribute. David Zip is a local attorney. Um, I got to tell you, I'm floored. Um, I'm, I'm shocked. Authorities say that Glinowitz stole thousands of dollars from a local youth program for prospective police officers and staged his suicide to obscure his criminal activity. Now, details from the lieutenant's personnel file portray the 30-year veteran as a disgrace to his uniform. In 1988, after three years on the job, he was found passed out at the wheel of his idling pickup truck. He received six five-day suspensions back in 2000 for sexual misconduct against a fellow officer. He was accused by a dispatcher in 2003 of threatening to shoot her. And an anonymous letter sent to the mayor by other Fox Lake officers in 2009 listed 20 complaints and claimed Glinowitz was destroying department morale. It's been surreal. Ann Marin is the village administrator who was auditing the program which Glinowitz used as his personal piggy bank. She was shocked to learn that his deleted text messages suggested he considered having her killed. It's a very scary thought that an officer who is sworn to uphold the law would even attempt to think to do something like that to an administrator. Joe Ahern runs a charity for families of fallen officers. It gave the Glinowitz family $15,000 after his death and now wants it back. That must give you no particular pleasure either. No, none whatsoever. In 49 years, we've never had this happen. And sources confirm that the widow and a son of Glinowitz are now under investigation, Scott, for any connection they may have to his criminal activity. Dean Reynolds in Chicago tonight. Dean, thank you.